Hello all and welcome back. Okay. I'm gonna level with all of you. I wasn't actually expecting anyone to be ready right now, which is good, because it doesn't look like anyone's ready immediately. Because let's be honest, it's 10 fucking a.m. So, I'm gonna run around and go start with what looks to be some more, uh, like, seasoned stuff while I have the chance. Because, one, it looks like Osiris has something new, no idea what, probably him just being dumb, but whatever, we're worth checking out. Um, <coughs> but also the 21st path, I guess? Uh, no, the, the 20th? It's either the 21st or the, the 21st path of the Corridors of Time has been figured out. It is a string of, oh god, this is going to be an absurd amount of inputs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirty fucking inputs to get to whatever the last part of the Corridors of Time is. <clears throat> so that's what I'm planning to open off with while I wait for folks to join up for Iron Banner silliness. Of course, silliness might not be the right word, considering that it is attempted murder of our fellow guardians, but whatever. And I finally, finally stopped being dumb and went and did the Devil's Ruin quest. That was like the fastest exotic quest I think I've ever done. I also think I really like this gun. Even if it is probably going to train some really bad habits into me for other weapons, but still. Because... It's a sidearm that feels like it packs a kick, and then also just has the, uh, go away button. Although I do feel like one of its perks doesn't ever seem to properly trigger, and I don't understand how it's supposed to work. But, meh. Those are all problems for, for tomorrow, Cap, to figure out? Sure, that sounds right. Oh, that's weird. It looked like he had another thing. Oh well, this is where we need to go for the quarters of time anyway. <laughs> Hang on, let me pull up my cheat sheet. Because, like I said, like, it's a 30 fucking co uh, 30 fucking symbol input bullshit thing. So this will be fun. Uh, so if you haven't done the quarters of time yet, look up a guide, because they honk. Um, the thing with the quarters of time is that so far, players have managed to figure out uh, at least 20 codes to input to get a series of lore books. I hate you, cat. You're stepping on my headphones. Uh, down in the... It's in the light section... What is it? Yeah, the Pigeon and the Phoenix. So it's all Saint-14 lore. I, I have not actually read through most of it yet, but I have unlocked all of it. Um... <clears throat> And each time you input a proper sequence, you get taken to what the larger Destiny community has decided is... Hang on. Is our guardian's grave. There we go. Okay. Yes, you can sit back down now, Cat, you little fucker. The annoying thing here is I can't see chat for whenever anyone arrives. Um, and the way that this basically works is that you've got just these different doors to go through. Um, so we need to start off with Clover, which is that one back there. Don't actually need to kill anything. The fanatics are just a massive pain in the ass. Uh, I believe most of them are just like six input codes, but like I was saying, this one is awful and 30. So we've got Clover, then Diamond. <coughs> and as with all... Destiny thinks the community's come up with a series of dumb names for them. Ah, there's Diamond. And there's a whole bunch of different uh, room layouts you can get. I generally try not to fight anything because things don't seem to have a consistent ammo drop. There's like one type of enemy that I will actively fight and you'll see it when they pop up. Hello, Calcifer. Yes, I love you too. Okay, now we need Snake. Oh, good. I love it when they're nice and close by. Usually, whenever I need something, they're one of those far two. 
Oh, this one didn't have any enemies. Wonderful. Oh, no, it does. There are Cyclopses. There are Cyclopses in the center. Can I help you, my demon cat? You've got a thing on your head. I can feel it. Ah, fuck. These are the one things that I'll fight. Okay, Clover. Yep, these things. Mostly because I can never figure out <clears throat> how close you need to be to make them wake up. And because they don't show up on the motion tracker. These are the things that... Here, I'll let one of them hit me. These are the little fuckers that... I think it was the Undying Mind spawned them. So they hit you and you get trapped in this thing. I don't... Uh, yeah, it looks like you take a little bit of tick damage from it, but it... <clears throat> it's only really bad because it makes you uh, very vulnerable to every other enemy in the goddamn area. What? I've already forgotten. This was Clover, right? Yes, Clover. So then we've got two pluses next. We... Oh good, just all of the harpies. Hey, Lost A, Caden Wilkes. How you doing, y'all? <clears throat> okay. Right, I realized I can see chat if I position it like this. Ah, shit. Yep, plus is way over on the far side. Please stop trying to kill me. I'm just trying to leave. Oh, shit. I don't actually know what happens if you die in here. I meant to test that. Okay, that was a bit close. First plus. Then one more plus. Oh, good. It's much closer. Fuck you. Okay. And then we need three hexes in a row. Sorry, for anyone who missed the explanation, uh, I am doing the run-through of what seems to be the the last solution in the corridors of time, we think. Uh, okay. Mostly because for the first time in the history of my experience with Reddit, uh, the, the, the Raid Secrets Reddit, which is the Reddit that usually figures out all of the weird shit in Destiny uh, uh, encounters, did not spoil what happens when you put in the final code in the post. In fact, they don't even say what the code is in the post. They just include a link to a picture of the final code. So, I I actually have no idea what's going to happen here. Shit, was that the first hex? That was the first hex. Okay. So we need two more hexes. Ah, oh, goddammit, they're on the other fucking side again, aren't they? Yup. Son of a butt. So, my one concern about dying is I is that I don't know if it resets your run or not. I mean, so far it's just been a whole bunch of... Like, the first 19 slash 20, I really should have kept count of, uh... Uh, how many solutions there were. Oh, it doesn't reset? Oh, beautiful. Um... give you a bunch of lore about Saint 14 which as a lore person I'm super on board with also everyone who everyone who vaguely identifies with Titan seems to be really on board with it shit was that the second or third hex uh that was the third hex okay plus plus is next this is the issue with having a 30 fucking symbol long code is I cannot remember what one I'm on Especially when there's three of the same thing in a row. Okay, so this should be plus, then diamond, then plus. So there's plus. Yes, who's my dead cat? My very dead cat. I'm also suddenly getting texts. Oh. Um. So that was plus. This is diamond, which is way the fuck over there. worth it. This is like the only rooms where I'll actually fight stuff because there's these horrible... One, there's those horrible things floating around. Also, sometimes you get locked in these paths and you can't walk properly. Because I'm dumb. 
Right, yes, I should have done that too. I'm sorry, Apple. Well, by the way, Apple, thank you very much for sending that to me. Because I briefly had the idea of, ah, oh, I'll figure it out, and then I walked into the corridors of time and went, oh, yeah, I'm not figuring this out. Like, most of the runs are six-digit codes, but there's no way to find out if you put the, the or six-symbol codes, but there's no way to figure out if you put the code in wrong until you're done. And that's just, like, stupid. And even then, I think the way you figure out is just that nothing happens. Goodbye, cat. Okay, this was the plus at the end of plus diamond plus, so now we need snake diamond clover. Snake. Don't even care. Oh, shit. Okay, I will run from the hydra, though. I'm not quite that stupid. Oh, right, yeah, there's also an emblem. Right, that was the other thing. Yeah, so this is code 21, because code 20 gets you the emblem. Okay, so that was snake, this is diamond. Oh, there's diamond. I will say, this is probably one of the few times where I... Uh, because the Reddit post didn't include, like, pictures, uh, I had to guess what the hell they meant by diamond, snake, clover, and all of those. And after, like, looking at all the symbols, I kind of went, Oh, okay, these actually are, like, the most logical names they've come up with for this shit before. Um, I've already forgotten what that last one I put in was. Diamond? That was diamond, so now we need clover. <laughs> this is the issue with it being 10.30 in the morning and me having slept like absolute shit. Like, my my watch has even told me like, hey, you, you know you slept for like 11 hours yesterday, which is a lie because it's including like two hours of time when I was up and walking around and it thinks that I just slept really poorly during that time so that was clover so now we need snake which is all the way over there I hate these things I hate these things really wish they showed up on the motion tracker it'd be so much less awful there Snake, and then I need to move my chatbot over to the other side so I can actually see the rest of the symbols. <laughs> okay. So now it's plus plus. Oh, did the obelisk give you the first code? Okay. But yeah, it was... It was really cool to watch people figuring out, it was definitely not one of those things that I would ever try and figure out myself. Whereas, like, once we, f once the community figured out the first code, you'd go through and get the lore book, and then there would be this, like, big thing below you that everyone managed to figure out sort of a, uh, some sort of, like, puzzle or cipher for it, for translating it into the next pattern of moves they needed to make. Okay, so that was one plus, this is the second plus, hey, it's right there, fuck yeah. God, I hope I didn't put any of this in wrong, or else this is gonna suck redoing it. And I've got double snake hex. <laughs> double snake hex. Fuck, it's across the way. Ugh. Feck. Feck. Okay, so this is one snake. Next one is snake. Just help transcribe some of those final puzzle pieces with some of the community. It was a ton of busy work, but it was fun. I mean, weren't there, like, hundreds of different versions of the, uh... The, the like, final clue, basically? And after a daily reset, weren't people suddenly seeing even more variations on it? Okay, next we need Hex. And then we start a new three. <gasps> oh, fucking hell. No, no, I've decided some of you get to die now because I'm bored. Okay, 
going for Hex. Don't actually remember where the hell Hex is, but whatever. Oh! Okay, interesting. Okay, what did I say? Hex? Where's Hex? There's Hex. Ah, shit, I didn't need to fight anything. You pop out because you're going to be a pain in Oh my god. Thank you. Okay, so that was Hex, and now we're moving on to Diamond Clover Plus. Each player got a unique one per character per reset. So per reset, everyone could get three. Ah, that's not confusing at fucking all. Diamond, where's the diamond? It's got to be across the way, isn't it? Oh, nope, there it is. There it is. Oh, good. Now the fanatics are screaming at me. Wonderful. Fucking wonderful. So yeah, once once I'm done with this, uh, we will start actually running Iron Banner for all of y'all. And for me, let's be honest here, I'm also here to run Iron Banner because I love me some Iron Banner, damn it. I should be running this on a different character first, but whatever. Hang on, that was Diamond, right? God, I hate how scatterbrained I am lately. I'm pretty sure it was Diamond, but let me run back and make sure. Yes, okay, it was Diamond. So this is Clover Plus. So, here's the thing, Apple. I super adore it. I know that I, I can't figure any of it out myself, but I, I like the idea of it. I hate the fact that the Destiny community has gotten really good at figuring this shit out and brute forcing their way through it. So once they're done, there's going to be the same people who are working on these puzzles on Reddit complaining about how, oh, we already solved the puzzle, now there's nothing to fucking do. Just like, I hate people. Just, just, for, for once, this shirt is quite appropriate. I figured it would be extra appropriate since we're doing Iron Banner and I'll be actively trying to kill other Guardians, but still. Just like... I love Destiny, but god damn it, the community is full of shit heels sometimes. Okay, so next one is Diamond Hex Hex. Running through the fucking madness. Diamond Hex Hex, okay. Uh, there's Diamond. Avoid all the combat if I can. Ah, shit. It does kind of suck that so many of the game... I've, I've complained about this a lot lately, but I'm going to do it again, damn it. I really... I love that a bunch of the games that I'm really enjoying right now are live service games because it means that there's always new stuff to do, but I hate it because it means that I always feel like I want to be playing all of them at once. Because, like... Okay, so now it's double hex. Okay, double hex. Because, like, we have the seasons with Destiny, so I I really have the whole FOMO thing of I, I legitimately don't want to miss out on season content stuff. Um, especially because a lot of it has been pretty solid, honestly. Then there's Monster Hunter Iceborne, which is fresh out, and, well, I, there's nothing really to miss out on. It's more that I want to be ready for when the timed content does start happening. So that sucks. That was one hex, so now I need a second hex. And then we need diamond plus diamond. Yeah, fuck. It's, it's a foolish complaint, but it's also one of those complaints that's just like... Uh, it, it's the downside of trying to be a streamer as a profession is that... There are many games that I wish to dedicate time to, and I do not have time to dedicate anywhere near as much as I want to to, like, any of them. So, diamond plus diamond. There's diamond. Um. Because, like, I, I want to get back into Underlords and Teamfight Tactics as well, but both of them have had massive changes since the last time I played. Uh, Underlords less so... But, like, Teamfight has apparently introduced the idea that a given season will also have, like, 
its own completely unique set of, uh, uh, like, units. And some of those units are even the same ones from, like, the last time I played, but they do different... Like, they have the same attacks and stuff, but they have different, like, synergies now. Okay, that was plus, right? Fuck, I already forgot. I think that was plus. Or was that the first diamond? That was the plus, right? That was the plus. Okay, so we need the last diamond, and then theoretically this is the end? Assuming I didn't input anything improperly, which I might have. We'll see. Okay, diamond. X, there it is. Mirror diamond. Please stop fucking shooting me. Please stop fucking shooting me. Please tell me I didn't fuck something up. Okay, fucking hell. What do you do now? Oh, good. Will it not zap me back for approaching this time? So... I'm led to believe that this sword is different depending on what character you're here with. I have not checked that, because I believe it's supposed to be similar to the sword you get for- because each class has like a sword that they get for completing the campaign. I believe this is supposed to be the Warlock one, because I am here with the Warlock. Thank you for coming. We've gathered here to celebrate the life. How do take sword then? Ah, there we go. It just took its fucking sweet time. So, Lost, I think what... I think what that's saying is that in the same way that what we believed was the original... Or the, the... I guess not technically the correct or incorrect timeline, but what was established as the previous timeline when Saint did die... We've some... We managed to make that not happen. And I guess... The idea here is that... S sometime in a different future that we're hoping to now avoid... We died. Saint lived. And he's trying to make sure that that doesn't... That... We don't die this time.
Saint Fertine has picked up latent signals that align with his light frequency. Speak to Saint to help him with this. Okay, so that's a different thing. Oh! So hey, just a warning. Apparently you only have an, another week to do the corridors of time. Uh, just, just a warning. If you want to run through and do all of them at once, it takes like... I'd say generously uh, two hours. Like, if if you have some issues inputting codes. Like, that last one took half an hour, but I ran through the first 20 in, like, an hour and a half or so. So, two hours is probably safe. I only fucked up a couple of codes. So now we have to go visit St. 14. But what about the weapon core thing that we got? That is not a quest. That is an item? Uh... I saw it. I, I saw it in my thing. But I don't know where it's gone to. Um, also, you don't need to do them all at once. Like, you can come in, do a couple, and then leave. And then come in, do the next couple, and then leave. So, don't, don't worry about that too much. Just like, hey, warning, you have a week left to do it. I'll say, Erudite, how you doing? Also, extra weird that we're paying respects, we're pressing E to pay respects to ourselves. Or I guess technically in this case to hear someone else pay respects to us. Oh, I'm sorry, Erudite, that honks. That seems to be a running thing for a lot of folks right now. Cat left like a little hair that oh my god I'm covered this is a new shirt how is it covered in hair god damn it I think that was all he was actually up here for was to shed all over me and then run I do have a cat and he's an asshole sometimes I don't know why the hell that's in there but sure oh it's probably from one of those hydras I killed I mean, I should have expected the whole him purposefully shedding on me, but I always forget. Mostly because I've tried to get out of the habit of just wearing black. Because it's a well-known issue that I have. I mean, it's assuredly a me problem. I mean, also, mercifully, the... Wait, is this... Oh, that doesn't read right, does it? Because it's mirrored. I won't. Yeah, okay, I didn't realize that that doesn't read right at all. I will go when I am rested. Quarters of time stretch on forever. I glimpse them within the infinite forest. Seek 14 reaches out to shake and shakes your hand. It's good to see you, Guardian. I have a small problem. I can't do a Russian accent on purpose, I'm sorry. I can only ever do it by accident. Saint produces a display signal locked to a source of light in the Tangled Shore. The signal is weak, but aligns perfectly with the frequency of Saint Fourteen's light from the sundial and your newfound chronometric core. So that would be the thing we found inside the uh, corridors. It cannot be me. I'm here, he laughs nervously. Zavala tells me you have friends in the Tangled Shore. I do not think the Fallen re reacts so well to my presence. He chuckles and folds arm to reveal a data pad. Requests you go in his stead. Okay. Sounds good. So, if anyone is ready, I would gladly like to start running some Iron Banner, though. Because cause we can, I can go talk with, or I can go figure out what the fuck's up in Tangled Shore anytime. I can't run Iron Banner with chat at any time. Although I'm still thinking maybe I should switch to a different character, just so that... I guess I don't actually need to turn the quests in. My my hope is that because the Iron Banner quests, at least last week, seemed to only give weapons, uh, that I go get... I go do my other pinnacle stuff this week before turning them in and hopefully level up my gear so that the weapons will be higher level so that I can send them over to the other characters. What I'm saying here is that I have a long drawn-out plan that 
might maybe possibly result in increasing my light level by like an extra one this week. And it's probably completely pointless, but whatever. I want to. I think I already picked up all the bounties here. Yes, I did. Okay. Yep. That's why I, I wanted to... I wanted to, like, have a thing that I could do by myself while everyone got ready. And then we can, like, jump, in, uh, jump into Iron Banner and just go. Uh, for anyone who has not joined us for Iron Banner before... Also, let me make sure that I have this set up properly still. Uh, here, set it as public. Uh, if you would like to join up, all you have to do is... Obey that command. Do slash join and that horrible litany of fucking numbers because steam ids because fucking steam ids god god forbid they make this relatively simple uh -huh. but hey you can still copy paste in destiny so that's always good Ugh. just gonna try and crack my everything real quick <sighs> okay what was this one? I picked this up last week and I didn't actually pay attention to what it does. Hold 500 arc grenade to supercharged arc soul. Oh, interesting. Except that I think all of... I forgot to check and see what... What any of my bounties are. Solar. Just get wins. Matches in any crucible. Solar. Good. Precision. Control. Fuck yeah. I bet this won't count. I bet this won't actually count. Uh, Iron Banner control. Grenade kills, Titan kills, Solar kills, Melee kills, and Hunter kills. Sweet! I think I could do most of that without having to change up my gear at all. How does... Do you mean, like, moving where your physical monitors are lost? Because I bet because you're... Your, uh, Windows is doing something weird about telling the, uh, physically moving them. Probably because they're maintaining the same, like, uh, number identification, even if you've switched which one's the main monitor. And certain games choose what to display on based... I think I can show you this here. Because I know certain games... Do, 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 you don't have it to let me show it. Certain games are, uh, are like, they, they base what, what monitor they're displaying on based on the monitor's name. Some of them check the number, and some of them base it on whether or not it is the main display or not. Because, God forbid anything ever be fucking consistent in PC gaming. Nothing. Nothing can ever, ever possibly be consistent in PC gaming. <laughs> I swear it was a thing here, but I don't remember where the hell it is. It might only display properly if I were to turn this off of borderless window, but yeah, window. It's also just refusing to full screen properly. I. Yeah, that seems powerfully stupid. And interestingly stupid, but mostly powerfully stupid. Yay, victory! Why do I have cuts on both of my hands? Oh, right, the other cat. That's why. <laughs> the other cat that lives in this house has very sharp claws and has only limited concerns about stabbing you with them. Oh, right, I should go jump into the playing on stream thing for anyone who would like to join. I also should make sure that I... I know Lost has access to this. Did I... Okay, good. I did give Applesauce access to this. Perfect. Oh, I'm really tempted to re-mirror my display just so that this reads properly. But to make that not look shitty, I'd also... I'd have to, like, flip the camera and then this whole... All of this would have to go over there. I don't know how much I care, because that would also cover stuff here. Uh... 
And all of that just for the sake of a bad joke on a shirt that just says, People, not a big fan. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right, no, I don't want to make the villager noise, damn it. I'm also randomly refreshing the Temtem page to so that I can start having that ready for once we stop doing Iron Banner. Because it looks like I... Oh, my poor, my poor Steam Wallet is like six cents off from being able to just like buy Temtem with just my Steam Wallet. Is so I feel a little bit bad because I kind of so here's the thing I really hope that Feyen shows up I also kind of hope Feyen doesn't because I don't want to go back to I should have done this ahead of time in in blind hope that Feyen would show up but I should have gone to the tower and grabbed the like do crucible kills with your clan and I feel bad that I didn't Um, Apple, how goes your, your collection of bounties? Wait, that is Apple. Now I'm confused, because I've just invited... Oh, that's powerfully weird! I invited Lost, but Apple's the one who joined first. Oh, God. That's not confusing at all. Um, fayen has been dealing with trying to find work, and the fact that that is a horrible hell... hell dealio right now. Ooh, you already have Bastion? You fucker. I hate you. I hate that you keep wibbling into the wrong spot. It's a... F it's a damage neutral fusion rifle. Charge to fire three separate kinetic slugs. With breakthrough. Portion of this damage bypass elemental shields. Oh, okay, so as opposed to Arbalist that just does extra damage to elemental shields, this one just ignores them. Cool. Also, I should put this back in my wallet before I keep forgetting about it. Interesting. Hammage for... Hammer for... I honestly, having seen that, I was not going to guess it was a fusion rifle. Liquid coils? Slow building charge for higher damage. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, we can jump into a couple rounds. Sorry, I'm now just like... Are you mostly wearing... What the hell is that cloak from? I don't recognize that symbol. But it's gotta be recent, because it's got the modern... Or not the modern, but the current season mod socket. Apple, what the hell are you wearing? Because the rest of this is very clearly, like... That's the spring event one? And it's just been updated to have the new thing? Huh. I'm mostly just confused because the rest of this is... Like, re-varnished, uh... Uh... Oh, oh, they're cos... Oh, okay. I was like, it. I thought you were wearing a whole bunch of, um... Like, it looked like Callus or, like, Leviathan gear to me, so I was real confused why it was all, uh, with modern, or the, the current, nope, that's Gambit, the current mod slots. I was very, very perplexed. I don't know why it took me so long to realize they're fucking ornamented, you idiot. Brain. Brain. Good lord, we've talked about this, brain. Which reminds me, I haven't looked at the story yet this week, because I still have some amount of silver from... I like that... I, I don't... Okay. I don't like any of them visually, but I do like that we're now getting a bunch more, like, vehicles and things that are representative of the different gun manufacturers. And the fact that they have just as poor taste in vehicle designs as they do in everything else. I, I don't know why that makes me happy. What the hell is the... Oh, right. That one. That weird-ass sparrow. Hmm. 
me do. I'm just trying to remember if there was anything else that I actually wanted to. I've got 900 silver, so I'm just like, is there anything I actually want to drop silver on? Worst part is, I supremely don't remember what I already bought. Uh, yes, lost. Iron Banner 100 counts as Crucible matches. The only uh, bounty I'm not sure is going to count it for is the the control one that wants you to complete a control match, because I don't know if it'll count this as control, because it's a specialized version of control. I really need to finish my ritual weapons for this... for this, uh thing but for almost all or for every other crucible thing it 100% will count that's why I picked up all my crucible stuff too I actually tried to pick up all of my crucible stuff from last week and then wait for the reset but I was like a few minutes too late to do that hello sad Cosmo the most sad Cosmo that has ever lived Oh good, this means I get to join in the other, like, horrible monsters who are running Devil's Ruin in here. I'll probably feel at least a little bit bad about it. It's just a little... not much. Really not much at all, actually. I also have to go turn on a dog cam really quick because it's being all sad. Oh my god, Alt-Tab, why are you not working for me? There. The saddest doggo who has ever lived. Wait, now I can't see chat. He's, his current plan is doing some combination of both hiding from our roommate and also begging for pets from while, while hiding. Iron Banner. This dog's brain does not make sense. The Iron Banner held high. Stay focused. Okay. Yay for not, or for unbalanced PvP. Purposefully unbalanced PvP. You captured <clears throat> ah, that's what you meant by the busy emote. Okay. Well, so much more I plan to laser that person to death. Here, have grenades and... Weird melee fireball. Uh, no one's here to accept my weird melee fireball. Damn it. I just wanted to give people a present. Ooh, there we go. Here, you can have my present. Damn it. Right, I can just hold this trigger. Brain. Brain. I'm just going to casually avenge Applesauce and get three murders in a row. I I can occasionally remember how to play PvP games. Let's be honest, that's a fucking lie, but I can try. I can pretend that I know what the hell I'm doing. You captured zone B. Zone advantage is yours. Also, for anyone who was correcting me on it last time, I was totally wrong. Uh, the, the bow is not coming this season. I thought it was just delayed for like one Iron Banner rotation, but y'all are right. It's not coming out till next season to make me sad. Shit. Foot! Get punched. Punched repeatedly. Thank you. Yeah, for some reason I, I was very convinced that it was coming out this season. Partially because the one thing that we've seen of it has it, uh, shows it with the Vorpal Weapon, uh, mod. Did I just kill someone who is ulting? Because I'm okay with that. Or help kill someone who is ulting? But yeah, it sucks, but... Mm. Uh, the tower shouldn't be frame locked. Unless it's frame lock, or do you mean like it has a frame max? Because that one I believe. I just know that it, it, it definitely is not locked, because it's the one place where I ever get uh, uh, frame rate loss, actually. Your lead has grown, but 
Don't let up. They won't. Damn it! Rip fuck. Uh, you might be capped at 60 FPS because your V-Sync might be turned on? That's the only one I can think of. But the the tower is the only place where I ever drop below 60 FPS because I have terrible screen tearing, so I keep... Damn it. So I keep uh, V-Sync turned on. And the tower is the only place where it goes below, and it's, I think, something about how many players are there, usually. On. Do, 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 do. I should check and see which weapon types it is that I need work on for Crucible Triumphs. That would have been smart. <laughs> but you see, I am a fool. No, damn it! Oh, and they weren't close enough to the grenade either. Butts! Uh, that did get fixed, Odin Sun. That was an issue specifically after the Season of Dawn patch came in, and it was fixed in the first two weeks. Um, because that... The fact that it was doing it at the beginning of Season Dawn was a pretty significant complaint by many people, because it wasn't doing it before that. Hi, Apple. I'm going to help you with this point, because I want the score. Opponent score. I want the, the quest progress. If I could just get more, or any, grenade kills. You captured zone A. You have Merp. the advantage. Press on. Zone C. Damn it! Ah, that takes slightly longer to charge than I think it does. Why so sad, Cosmo? You have a present. Damn it! Well, close. I was helping. Ooh, hey, and it's now after 11, so that means I should... But... I I aimed too low and wasted that grenade launcher shot. Oh, well. Um, I lost. If you had V-Sync on, then no, it should be locked to 60 FPS. Or should be locked at a max of 60 FPS. Otherwise, your V-Sync isn't actually on. Or it's doing one of those weird... Uh, if you have the monitor for it, it might be doing... G-Sync, or I think AMD has a version of G-Sync. Though personally, the monitor I have that has G-Sync doesn't actually do it terribly... Or doesn't run terribly well, so I just don't use it. Ooh, what the fuck? Where was that shot from? I, I would suggest going somewhere that isn't the tower then lost, because one, that doesn't, that's not something that's not something that my V-Sync has, v -Sync has options for but, uh, um, I would just say, don't test it at the tower, because the tower is wonky. God damn it. Fucking hunters. Maybe I don't want to take the lead back, Saladin. Maybe I'm a complete, complete cretin. The flames have gone cold. Fuck. Opponent claimed zone A. Here, let's be sane. Opponent claimed zone B. Wow, they just jumped up a lot during that hunt. Fuck. Hard thought, but no. Damn. Today. Damn. Oh, good, that did count for the bounty. Sweet. 
Hello? Hey, how you doing? There we go. Uh... Oh, right, I'll return to store bit so you can join. Thank you. Before I forget about that, because that would have been dumb. Haha. -ha. There we go. Okay. And Apple, if you want into the call, you are more than welcome. What the hell have you painted your ship? What? Oh, no, this is just the festive colors. <laughs> These are not festive colors at all. What are you talking about? That's red and gold. That's Christmas. It's literally called gunmetal. Okay, yeah, 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 but it looks Christmassy. <laughs> Oh, I think that's what I spent some of my silver on, wasn't it? Yeah, it was to get the sleep... Or not the sleepless fight. It was to get the cerulean flash. Right, I should equip this. Thanks for reminding me. Ooh, that's powerfully ugly. <laughs> and yet you keep clicking back I, to I that. I do because I keep seeing it and going, what does that one look like? Oh, right, <laughs> awful. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that one's nice. Okay. And now we return. Ha ha! Iron Banner. Let's see if I drop a bunch of frames as I buy uh, uh, Temtem and download it. Oh, it just launched? Yeah. I'm... I love that it turns out I'm not even six cents under, I'm five cents under being able to afford oh. it with just my Steam sense, Steam wallet stuff. Valve, take my nickel. They're they're taking a nickel that isn't even a real nickel because they're taking it from my PayPal, which is... I don't even <laughs> I know... About to... I don't know where the I'm... money in my PayPal comes from at this point, honestly. I just don't <laughs> question it. Oh! That's where all the Rover stuff that I don't transfer out goes. So, like, whenever I get, like, a $20 job, it just sits there. Yeah. Okay, am well, I dropping frames? Process my nickel. That costs you more than a nickel to process. Deal with it, fuckers. Uh -huh. Well, they're basically an evil corporation, so they can fucking deal with it. It's the little... Valve? Yes! What did they do that was... Uh, they run uh... a monopoly that... Ugh. That doesn't get called a monopoly because we pretend that it's fine. They've also been aggressively aggressively attacking uh, any developer who seems to have vaguely sexual stuff in their games despite that not being against their previously established terms of service uh yeah they are pretty uh random in going after some stuff yeah because they're trying to train an algorithm to do it so that the humans who work at valve don't have to do anything but yeah, there there are still games that were told, yeah, uh, you cannot be listed on Steam because you contain some amount of sexual content, and we've randomly determined that your studio is the bad is the bad studio. Uh, that have been now waiting for more than two years for Valve to put a system in place for determining whether or not they can go on Steam. Right. Yeah. Valve is just better at hiding the fact that they're an evil corporation. Ugh. Wow, I took off that sweater and I'm immediately cold. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Well, upside, I just managed to download all of Temtem without dropping any frames or my FPS lowering. So, yay! Oh, that, was a, that was a very small download. It's a small download, but it's also, I, I have fat down pipes, but not right. up, up pipes. <laughs> <laughs> because Comcast is a, not good at hiding the fact that it's a shit heel company. I think they stopped trying. I, they were trying? Yeah. Uh, you know, like a decade ago, maybe. I mean, at this point, they're trying to hide behind the fact that it's like, oh no, your internet provider isn't Comcast, it's Xfinity. Oh, we're totally different. Yeah. You will note that when you need to go talk to someone who works at Xfinity, you're told to go to the Comcast building. Just ignore that fact. And that Comcast is labeled on all our vans. Yeah. Young wolf, an iron 
But yeah, they, they have... I'm so annoyed about it, because they have fiber in my area, but they won't let... They, they won't even sell access to their fiber that the city fucking paid for the installation of. And one company is trying to bring oh. fiber to my area, but can't... but has to install it themselves, so it's not expanding quickly. Because they're not allowed to use the fiber that is already fucking laid! Right. Oop, that was a bad grenade. That's Comcast owns it. Oh, dear lord. I don't remember if it's technically Comcast owns it, or the city owns it, but has rented out access to it to Comcast for all eternity. Ah. I have not played this game in, like, three weeks. Uh-oh. To be fair, most of the play that I've been doing was doing, uh... The thing, the, th the thing that I just did on stream. Oh, corridors. I was doing a bunch of corridors, so I also have not played a ton. Because there's too many good games, and Yelp. I will continue to complain about that. Oh! Oh, they had heavy. Yes. The lead has grown, but they're still within reach. Are they? They're like 30 ahead of us. They're only a couple of points away from just winning outright. Oh god, they're all there. Yup, they are. It's fun. Here, have a grenade. Oh, Damn okay. it. That grenade Everyone's got electric for Titans. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now is the secret best time to run Risk Runner. Oh my god, we got it all? Yeah, I guess because they were all attacking you and I. <laughs> The fools. I mean, they are also getting a bunch of kills during this hunt, so... Oh! Good counter. Again. I don't think I've got a single kill. <laughs> You'll be fine. Turn to the fight. Shit. Oh, boy. Opponent claims oh, hello, so Mr. Oliver. Can I help you? Keep pushing. Oh yay, someone avenged me. Thank you, Apple. Zone B captured. Oh. I will accept your avenging with grace. And then try and dance on the grave of whoever the hell killed me. Zone B lost. Wolf's howl Shit. Ow. Last Damn it, we didn't get this one in time. Just gotta not die. What is with both of you and using bows? Bows are sweet! Ah! Yeah, bows are sweet. Golden I just don't, gun got me! <laughs> I don't I don't trust me and bows in PvP. The hunt has ended. I have an explosive bow, so it helps a little bit. You captured zone C. Shit, where are they? Oh, they were up. Fuck. Thank you, Apple! <laughs> Apple, did you just shoot that man with a Jotun? What the fuck's wrong with you? That's just mean. I should 100% be doing that. Oh, they missed me. Oh! That shot down. <laughs> oh. Oh, there were three of them. <laughs> okay, uh, wait. I have Dim open. Come here. I need my Jotun. captured. You have the advantage. Press on. Zone B captured. The fire's oh, cool. on it. Find your prey and end them. Yay, okay. Come here, Jotun. I know you won't have any ammo and I don't care. Where are they? Everywhere. And nowhere. Yeah. Damn it, did I really just ult against nobody? Fuck. Never mind, got three. Zone A captured. My keyboard isn't coming through on my mic, is it? Uh, only a little bit. Only when okay. you're talking at the same time. Zone and that's just sort of a given. No, oh, damn it, I wanted that brick. Fuck. Ha! <laughs> Fuck you, asshole! Damn it! Five minutes 
My Jotun missed. You have the advantage. Press on. And then a grenade blew up under my feet. Oh well. I probably deserved that. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm, I think I'm still in the lead for our team, and I'm deeply confused by that. You. Fuck you. Fuck. You. Fuck you. Fuck. Ow! Oh, I almost got him! Yes! Yes! Revenge on myself! <laughs> that was good. That made up for this whole game for me. Yeah. You left behind, like, the fire tornado? That well, got the no, I got, like, five of them. I don't think I've had any oh, fucking grenade place. kills yet. Oh, shit, hi! This just doesn't have any more Jotun ammo. Fucking hell. Zone A. Ooh, doo -doo. You captured Zone C. Zone advantage is yours. Oh, hello, missile. Fuck. Oh, so many completed quests. Bounties, whatever. Three minutes left. Ow! <laughs> mm, I should change that shield. Oh, do you still have Rally Banner on? Yeah. The rally barricade. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Okay. Oh wow, they locked that quick. Yeah. We were on one, but they thunder crashed everyone who was standing on it. So yeah, it did went poorly. It went quite yep. poorly. Ugh. Yes. Hide. Hide inside the fire. It will save you. Fuck. <laughs> it almost. <laughs> oh, that was bad. But I won. I came out victorious. Shit. Cut their momentum. Keep pushing. I mostly came out victorious. Zone C captured. Well, thank fuck we don't actually need to win for quest or for bounty progress. Ah. Uh, Damn it, where'd that We really came back there, though. That's good. Oh, yeah, we definitely did. Time to complete all of these bounties. Middle of the pack? I'll take it. Damn it, I I need I need two gren or two melee ability kills and two grenade ability kills. Oh, I guess for the sake of my sanity, I should actually be running a sniper rifle. What sniper do I have that I don't hate? Ooh, Twilight Oath, you're fun. stick with my loadout <laughs> I'm just messing messing around with stuff right now I've got another old pinnacle thing for getting uh, sniper rifle kills in crucible oh yeah so now I'm just looking around for a kinetic that I feel like balances out a sniper um, I have a fucking shitload of these steel feather repeaters don't I steel feather repeaters very good it is. I just need to find one that I think has an ability that I particularly like. The god roll, as it were? Well, I feel like I've got some that are god rolls, but I'd like a god roll for PvP. Eh, this mm. one actually seems solid. 
It's a vorpal weapon, so we still be able to deal with someone uh, ulting. It is nice to know that I'm like looking over some of my things in uh, in dim now, and it's going like, "Hey, the curator has very specifically said this is a good good combination of perks." That occasionally makes me. Oh, happy. you're using a the the new web page? No, um, I'm using the the app, but it includes the like, "Hey, these are good perks" part now. Oh, okay. It updated. I don't know when, but it did. Oh, I'm dropping a bunch of frames. Why am I dropping a shitload of frames? Uh, unknown. That's extra. What did you get, Apple? Uh, what the fuck? I'm broadcasting at a higher rate than I'm supposed to be. What the fuck's going on? Iron Banner. I'm just closing windows real quick to see if this helps at all. Yes, do all of that. Strength. That was weird. Um, I remember the one Apple's talking about, but I don't remember what the roles were. Was it the Feeding Frenzy Osmosis one? Probably not, because uh, Osmosis is apparently not considered amazing. Oh, that's I, disappointing. I like Osmosis, but yeah, it's definitely one of those, like, especially in PvP, it's not amazing. That's fair. Fuck, I need to have... Oh. Uh, I forgot to have... to put flinch free on... Ahead. this gear. Holy shit, they're all on B. Okay. Yeah. They're all on B. It was Freeding Frenzy oh, and Multi... Wow. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, is yeah. yeah. Good. That was real good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one is... Uh, it. I know it's for sure Feeding Frenzy and... It's actually, uh, it's got that cool thing where it can swap between the two end perks. So it's got Osmosis and Vorpal. I don't remember what its uh, other two are, though. Oh! Okay. There are three in that quarter, yep. Yeah. Yep, got one of them. Ooh, someone's got a sweet business. I can hear it. I can tell- I, I hate that I can hear that and go, like, I can- I identify that wind-up. da <laughs> da <laughs> Okay, right. I should be going for sniper kills while I have it. Maybe I should have brought Darcy. That would have been fun. Stupid, but fun. Ooh, hi. I found the sweet business person. <laughs> then I killed him. I missed. Fuck. Shit, that was a sniper rifle. I wanted the auto rifle. Butts. Yeah, so what was it? Damn it. Yeah, ricochet rounds, full bore, and range. Yeah, right. I'm still so annoyed that apparently I got rid of a god roll um, subtle calamity. Without, oh, really? Without realizing it. Yeah, before I understood what the rolls were and the draw time was so good, I had, oh, I had a draw time masterwork with... Uh, Rampage and Archer's Tempo, and I hate that I got rid of it because I didn't oh, know at the time. Because it was right when I'd come back to the game. I think. Oh god. It was either a subtle calamity or it was a an arsenic spike, but they're effectively like they, their god rolls are the same. Yeah. I'm one off of a god roll for a subtle calamity because mine's a handling perk. Uh, I think mine is a reload perk, which is the actual worst on a Oh game. my god, yeah. I'm so <laughs> Sorry. I ran onto a point, and I was just sitting with, like, two people from the other team. <laughs> <laughs> and we both were like, wait a second, there's an enemy here! I'm just imagining the Spider-Man meme. Yeah! Just like the Spider-Man pointing at a different Spider-Man going like, Wait a second! <laughs> yeah, I just suddenly saw red by them. I was like, Wait a second! They're the enemy! Um, that reminds me though, hey, for anyone who is playing Destiny, this week I'm going to be, one, working particularly hard at trying to complete my Pinnacle stuff, so anyone who wants to run any of the Pinnacle gear things, please hit me up, or I might hit you up aggressively in the Discord, because I really want to get that shit done. Also, anyone who needs to do competitive, I really need to do my competitive for the for this season. 
the, the competitive PvP, and I would prefer to not do it alone, just so I can complain with other people. Yeah. So, hey, if anyone else is doing oh, that. Oh God. Damn it! Ah, that wasn't lethal. I only remember the thing about needing to do uh, competitive because I I have another quest to get Luna's Howl that I need to do. Mm. And that, well, I think I'm at the point where I need to get solar kills in competitive. I don't actually remember. Like, it's better than ha having to get, um... I used to have to get hand cannon kills in competitive, and that was a pain in the ass. Oh! Oh, I'm a dumbass. What happened? <laughs> Ran into a purple trap. <laughs> oh. Like, into one while you were ulting? Yes. Good job. I didn't recognize it for what it was. I thought it was a ghost. I mean, take take heart in the fact that it probably wasn't left there for you. It was probably used to kill someone else who was ulting first. Damn it. I missed. Fuck. I missed and then it got... Oh, I got killed by someone else using a fucking arbalist. Fuck you. Yeah, that's they why are I are all on A. Yeah, that's why I still need to do competitive, because I've finished all of the the fusion rifle kills, but I don't have the competitive rank to finish that, uh, that uh, ritual weapon like yet. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the same thing with Gambit. Of, I think I'm actually done with the Gambit, uh, all of the, the Gambit progress. I just need to get more shotgun kills in Gambit. Because turns out running nothing but shotguns in Gambit is uh, dangerous, let's say? Yup. I have avenged Apple. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Oop, they're behind us too. Fun. The two zones are yours. You're pulling ahead. Two down. Here. The cavalry's here. Yay! Ah! Be slightly cool. feared! So here's the thing, Staticat. Um, in... In most things, I would 100% agree with you. The problem is that hand cannon kills in... Crucible? Are difficult just because everyone is a mad bastard running in every possible direction. The shotgun kills that I need to get are in Gambit, and in Gambit you have way more uh, limited access to <sighs> special ammo. So it's just more of trying to maximize every shot and make sure that you get more than one kill against damn it, fuck son of a whore. Uh, against the oh. against the thingamajigs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Was that five of us? Probably. We were all kind of grouped up. And that's a weird ult, since it's sort of their high damage one, but it also doesn't require that they, like, focus a specific location. You captured zone a. Two zone or not... <sighs> I, I explained that poorly. Because it's the hunter high damage one, but it has the benefit of not needing to be... Uh, it doesn't, like, hit a single target. It fires out something like six knives. What right. Next? Fucking god damn it! I apparently do not remember how to aim with a grenade launcher anymore. Thank, thank you, Kessler, for killing that person. I don't know if you actually can... You probably can't hear me, because I'm not talking in in-game chat. Whatever. <laughs> I can brain. Oh, shit. Yeah, we didn't capture it fast enough. Be vigilant. And now is the part where I think we probably lose? It 
It went down the side with, with you. Shit, I missed. Yep. To the fight. Got you. Yeah, it's the downside of trying to get uh, sniper rifle kills is that I've got two bullets and I often miss. One minute remains. Zone C I think I need to get like 300 fucking kills. Ah, shittles. Where are they? Uh, they're just wibbling. Thank you. Apple killed them. It was, uh, middle tree void lock, so they were doing the, like, weird teleporting and then exploding thing. Damn it. Well, so... the titans killed each other. <laughs> well, I just killed two people. The lead is yours. Shit! No! Damn it! Ah! We need two kills, and... We need okay. one kill. We need one kill! We need what? Yeah, we are the ones. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Yay! Not dead. Also, I could turn the dog cam back on because they're both here and they're being all adorable and shit. Okay, did I finish any more bounties? Uh, oh no, Apple had to leave. Oh right. Yeah. We'll miss you, Apple. Thanks for stopping by while you could. Unless that was somehow lost getting booted. Nope. Nope, it it was Apple. Okay. Thanks for stopping by while you could, Apple. I hope you had fun. I love how I dropped a bunch of frames after I finished downloading a game. Like, not during. Um, I don't know how much longer we'll be doing Iron Banner if it's just Lost and I, but you, if we are still going, you are more than welcome to join us, Apple. I need to get back into this game. <laughs> yeah, same. It's it's still very good. Yeah, it's like fun or something. I don't know if I care about any of these, but I also don't think I need to delete any of them. That reminds me, I should check and see if uh, my clan has opened. I think my clan had a recent, like, purge, because there's a whole bunch more people joining recently. Oh. So I should drop a link for it in, in the Discord so that we can get more of those sweet incidental bonuses. Yeah. Yeah, Sadicat, there is so much. I... That's kind of why I'm really enjoying it. We we have a running plan to try and do more raids because, like, the first four or five raids are included in the free content. So, like, I think just before Christmas, we, we managed to organize on stream a thing where we ran through... Uh, oh First Leviathan. God. Yeah, we, we uh, managed to run through Leviathan with a bunch of chat members. Uh, with theoretically me guiding, but in truth Apple guiding. Um, and I think the current plan is that we're going to next week on Tuesday try and either do um, Leviathan Prestige, which is the like heroic version that we were sort of training people for a little bit. Or eat of eater of worlds, or maybe both. Because <clears throat> apparently, eater of worlds is really fast. So here's hoping that that works out. We just need to make sure that we've got six folks actually like ready to go. Ha! Sometimes I can get a fucking headshot. <laughs> Admittedly, I think that might have been a floating ass warlock, but whatever. Doesn't that make it more impressive if they were floating? I would say less, because they float very slowly if they don't have momentum. Oh. Uh. But yeah, that was... Honestly, getting to do <clears throat> Leviathan was really sweet. I'm I'm sad we didn't manage to show Underbelly a ton, because a bunch of us had to skedaddle. I still have my tokens for that. Do you? I thought they went away after a week ended. Do they?! Frick! Yeah, because the idea is that you're supposed to use them to go get loot during the, the thing. God! <laughs> I 
haven't checked mine, so maybe they're still there, but I'm pretty sure they they go away after, during the weekly reset. That's so sad. Well, we did do the silly thing, which is maybe not the, uh, that is probably the intended way of not going through Underbelly and instead, yeah, uh, doing Capture the Flag over and over again. <laughs> we decided it was faster and didn't involve trying to map our way through the fucking underbelly. Yep. Which is, you know, fair. Yeah. It was probably the right idea, but it did mean we missed out on some loot. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed that. Fuck! I need to go grab... I think I even have it, and it's just not on any of my gear. Ow. Uh... Where is long-arm anti-flinching? That's reserves. Oh god, why am I... Uh, light arms. That one. Okay, I need to make this gear better. Oh god, god. <laughs> okay, that's weird. My inventory screen is causing me... ...lag. Or er, frame rate drops in-game. That's powerfully weird. Oh my god, did they just go from one lock to another? Yes. Oh god. Damn it, I missed the headshots. I now have a single sniper bullet. After missing two fucking shots like an idiot. The hunt has ended. Uh bonds. Uh warlock uh the warlock special item is called a bond. I don't know why actually. But yeah, the this is the the one for the current season pass, and yeah, it looks fucking sweet. I'm actually just wearing all of the ornaments for the current season pass, because they all look sweet. Honestly, this one and the last one were both pretty good, but I think this one's better for Warlocks. Because the Warlock one last time didn't look the best. I think the Hunter one last time, uh, the Hunter one for Undying was fucking awesome. Because the Hunter one for uh, Season of the Undying was basically like, they made a bunch of armor out of... Like, all of them were they made armor out of Vex bits, but the 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 Hunter one looked the best. Oh, hey, we got the hunt. Cool. Yeah. Because um, the Hunter one had a thing where they... I guess the idea was that they couldn't even figure out how to make both, both shoes, so one of their boots was made out of... Um, uh... Uh, like a Vex, um, Hobgoblin foot. Just, like, placed on their... HA! Fuck you! No ult for you, asshole! Um, <laughs> so it was just like, they, they just had a Vex Hobgoblin foot attached to them. Opponent claimed zone a. Zone B Here, have a grenade. Yes! Give me that grenade kill! I finally got all of my grenade kills, I think! I hope I didn't take that from you. Nope, damn it, I still need one more. No, I got the grenade kill. I'm so kill. sorry. No, 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 I got the grenade kill. I just need three oh, of them. Okay. okay. But yeah, in general, frankly, hunters get really sweet looking loot, but I'm I'm kinda happy with this this season, because we Admittedly I've alternately colored it, but this is the ornament version of the Oh, that's not the I thought I was wearing this bond. But yeah, no, this is the um, this is the one that Eris gives you on the moon. This is the Dreambane one. Because I'm going to level with you. Dreambane stuff does not look good on Warlocks. It looks kind of stupid. I, F Fane is going to fight me on that, and I don't care. I, I think it looks stupid. But the the bond looks sweet, because it's the like bird feather, or bird wings sort of like lined up. That was almost an Aquila sign. I haven't done that on purpose in like years. Have gone cold. Well, we're not losing as badly as we could be. But we're not winning as much as we could be either. Yeah, but that's a depressing way to look at it. I don't know. Your, <laughs> yours didn't sound super positive either. <laughs> it was more positive than we are actively losing. <laughs> but yeah, in general, hunters get ah! sweet gear. Like, the only running issue I have with Hunter gear is usually that, um, they have a bad habit of their cloaks having a hood that covers their, the top of their helmet, and their, the top of their helmets generally look pretty sweet. They're gonna be coming from B. Ha! 
I lucked into that headshot! How many more of these fucking kills do I need? Because I bet it's a lot. <laughs> I'm at 122 of 300. Oh my god. Yup. Somehow I've already finished the headshots, though. That's the good part. Is it? I mean... Nope, okay, I just... Three minutes left. Yep. I yep. popped up and took a scout rifle to the head? Oh, Randy's throwing knife. Hey, that's the scout rifle I'm using. It's a very good scout like rifle. Scout rifle? It sounds it, like a knife. It's a very good scout rifle. It's one of the ritual ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can actually get it anymore because it's the it was the ritual one from last season. Oh. Uh... Yeah, exactly. Like a lot of the hunter helmets are sweet, but they get covered by a hood, and it's just like, oh, then you ruin it. I mean, it's better than Titans get because they get the. They get the butt f the butt cape. Because, like... Oliver. Titan armor generally looks kind of okay. And then, usually, if their cape doesn't... If their butt cape doesn't match, then it just it doesn't blend together well. Also, they have a weird thing about, like... Fur on the arms. I don't know why. Because they've got, like, three or four different sets. I think most of them tied to Crucible. That have, like big shoulder plates, and then, like, fuzzy tufts around it. Oh, right. Um, I can actually go do this now. Now that I'm not actively being fucking shot at. Okay, upgrade that. I need... Is it this one? Yes. Unflinching rifle aim, damn it. Yeah, exactly. It's either fuzzy tufts or fucking spikes. But yeah, I mean, honestly, part of why I like warlocks, and this is the one this is the one chest armor that doesn't do it that I like, is that generally warlocks have the cool, like, robe that drapes down past their legs and billows, and it looks awesome. Like Actually, I think Vigil of Heroes looks pretty... Yeah, Vigil of... Like, Vig Vigil of Heroes is a perfect example of what I like in a good Warlock outfit. Except for the part here where it's clipping through... Uh... My leg armor. But yeah. Warlock armor is always either the whole set is awesome or the whole set hawks. Yeah. They, they have... They refuse to find a middle ground. That's weird. There's a item right here that's missing. I wonder what that one is supposed to be. Yep, sounds like it's loaded. Hello, Cosmo. Actually, if this takes long enough, I'm going to send a message to Fan just to make sure that he's doing okay. <laughs> Except that I'm going to misspell his name horribly. maps are there for Iron Banner? Like, uh, three? I think there's three or four. Okay. Armor is born to see combat. Um, because I believe it's the same as the normal control ones. Gotcha. Except it doesn't include the the Rustlands map. Which I'm kind of okay with, because that one never seems terribly well balanced. That's, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Just because instead of that one, like, most of them are... Uh, actually, no, there's, like, two that we haven't even seen yet this week, aren't there? Cause yeah, there's, like... There's the one that's on a Cabal firebase, whose name I don't remember. Maybe Rustlands is included. And my memory is just absolute shit. Okay, looks like they're at B and A. Oop, never mind, they fucked off a of B. Behind, behind. 
Okay, I'm just watching heavy ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going for heavy ammo. Give me that sweet heavy ammo. This is the moment Iron Lords live for. Damn it. Ah, fucking spike grenades. It's like the one time they're not amazing. But yeah. Honestly, the other thing that I, I don't love about Titans is that... Male Titans are just, like, they are a walking brick shithouse. There, there is no small. Or even, like, medium. They are just fucking large. Oh. And I wouldn't feel so weird about that if it weren't for the fact that there are NPC Titans who are not brick shit houses on legs. Mm. I just got three kills in a row, so I'm happy with that. Even if I immediately died, it was still worth it. Ha! Ah, I got a hammer kill! Oh, like thrown hammer kill? Yes! Fuck yeah! I also gotta say, I I don't like the Iron Banner armor this month or this season. I haven't actually really seen it. Um, it's it's an older set. Uh, it's I, I I'd honestly say it's kind of uh like Japanese armor inspired because it does the sort of layered uh leather and metal thing. Right. And I, after the last one that really looked like an attempt to do something that, damn it, uh, the the last one I just really liked and I miss I miss it. Yeah, the one the set I'm wearing right now. Yeah, the set you're wearing right now is fucking awesome and I love it. It does look really cool. That was a worthy trade. Are they still down that corridor? No idea. Yep. Because, yeah, last, last season's Iron Banner just looked good for everybody. This one, I'd say, kind of looks like Titan armor. Or looks best on Titans. I don't actually remember what anyone's version of it looks like, but I definitely think that the it looks like armor that should work on a Titan. Fuck. Aha! Thank you, Fireballs. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! Spicy pants is too spicy. They got me with the knife. Well, good news. I just killed Captain Spicy with a grenade to the face and a series of bullets. And then and I killed a drunk Canadian. Yeah, like... Honestly, it's part of why the Titan that I play is a female Titan, because they don't look like a brick shithouse on legs. They, they just look like a mostly strong, if relatively buff, person. Uh, admittedly, it makes some of the Titan armor look real weird, because the, the Titan armor seems to be expecting you to be a giant walking pile of meat. A little bit. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Once but, again, running with the enemy. They're staggering. Don't let up. There's probably some sort of running with wolves joke there somewhere. Ooh, if we can capture this first, we'll get a hunt. I think we're getting a hunt. Okay, go to C. Or just hunt. We we got it. Yeah. This is like the first hunt of this match, isn't it? Oh no, second. I think, yeah. Ah, hello! Watch out, the Canadian's got a golden gun. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping to get more there. <sighs> Whoa! -ho. Oh, that person's running around with Lord of Wolves. Interesting choice. I know it's technically really good, but it always feels hard to get those kills in Crucible. Oh, okay. They're heading towards a from the side panel channel passage. Whatever. Yep, we just got two of them. Which reminds me. What the hell? Fuck, that was a grenade kill. Ah, damn it, I wasn't supposed to do that. Just turned in one of my Iron Banner bounties by accident. Oh, you yo, I'm dumb. Upside, oh. that should be like a 
That should be like a 964 weapon for me, I think. Okay. And it's an it's a Ganora's axe, which I Make don't it. like, but I can shunt it into something I actually do like. Zone B capture. Zone advantage is yours. That's two. Worth it! Yep, it was 964. Um give me a second while I drop this into my recluse. <gasps> Fuck yes! I can up Ah oh, damn it, that only brings it up to 960. There we go. After this I need to check and see if I can bring my uh, Like two two kills. We need two kills. <laughs> uh more than that. One kill. Yeah, one kill now. Yeah. Damn it. I I think we got this. Like, even just two captures now, once the hunt ends, will give it to us. Three minutes left. Well fought. Yep, there we go. Cool. What the hell was I doing? Right, uh... Not that one, that one. What? Don't I have a 960... I swear I've got a 962... No, I don't. I do not. What the hell? That sucks. What's up? I thought I had a... A higher light level steel feather to upgrade this one with and it turns out I do not because I only have a higher level breach light I'm just trying to see what I can get max light level to right now mm. and it looks like I'm still tapped out at 62 damn I thought I had enough to get up to 63 now Yep, 62. Fuck. Urf. I should send the rest of these to my vault because I'm not going to use them. Oh, hush, demon cat. don't have anything better in my vault for armor. No, I don't. Okay. Curses. I was really hoping. That's why I didn't want to <laughs> accidentally turn in any of my fucking iron banner for weapons yet. Yeah. Because I think I... I think my other two are at 962. Oh. So... I'd rather do... Iron Banner turns turn ins on them because they'll get more. That like they'll get the, the weapons. I I already explained this, but it's it's a long stupid process that I'm just like ah I could maybe possibly get, one extra light level this week. God damn it. Just had to close through like three windows that I thought I'd closed through all of. Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> um so yeah, we will not be seeing Feyen today. Uh def he is definitely still in the hell of trying to find or trying to do super duper fun job hunting. 
Right. Uh, but he does have something today, so hopefully that'll go well for him. Good. So I am wishing him the best of luck. Yeah. Because, let's face it, job hunting in this economy fucking sucks. Job hunting in general. So oh, yeah. Job hunting in general sucks, but especially right now it sucks. Advantage is yours. Oh! Like, the only place where I would want to be job hunting right now, and even then I wouldn't because I don't enjoy working in the industry anymore, is, like, working in food in my city is a job hunter's market, but... That doesn't mean that everyone is less shitty, because they're still pretty fucking shitty. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Yeah. But there are a multitude of restaurants doing well in Denver that are all hiring, it's just that that still means you're working in the restaurant industry. What? Uh, oh. Ah. And to be clear, I'm not bad mouthing that industry. I'm just bad mouthing it for me. It's definitely not for me anymore. Right. Yeah. It is. It is a good industry, and as with most, or not as a good industry, as with all industries in a capitalist society, there are fucking shitty aspects of it, and I've just gotten sick of a lot of them. Shit! I thought I had ranged fire, but I did not. Zone B captured. Two zones are yours. But if you need to be job hunting in that industry, come to Denver. Like, seriously, there are more cook jobs available than there are people to take them. If you can afford to move here, because Denver itself is, is expensive, but there are outlying suburbs that are much less expensive. Also, it's just a nice place to live. Although, according to our own policies, I guess I'm not technically supposed to say that, because we've had too many people moving into the state, and that's part of what's inflating our cost of living. Specifically people from my state, you really shouldn't be talking to me about this. And Texas. <laughs> but that's because I pushed them out. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm not... So here's the thing, I'm not off-put by the the, let's say, social policies of the people coming in from California, I'm off-put by the fact that some of them are pushing our uh, housing market to look like the Californian housing market, which is an absolute godforsaken wasteland. Oh, yeah. No, it's awful. Yeah. It's garbage. And I can't believe we're doing it a third, a second time. Yeah, I, I still, like, my mom is probably one of the only people who has ever been benefited by it with, because she bought her house uh, at the beginning or at the end of the last crash. Yeah. Uh, so it was like 200,000 or something. And it is now worth more than two fucking million. Jesus. With no, like, significant... No uh, improvements. Well, there have been some improvements, but, like, up until my father died, there weren't any really significant ones. And after he passed, my mom basically went, yeah, I'll go start comes next. like part of what she's been doing to stay sane after she retired was just doing massive changes on the house so it's now worth significantly more than that too but yeah before that it was just i'm gonna kill myself by accident with a grenade launcher but interesting conversation to hop, hop back into the stream too is you're gonna be up uh from your friend help you with your resume soon soon but you're staying in massachusetts I, I don't have any, like, good selling points for trying to get more people to move to Colorado in terms of, like, I will give people places to live since our one spare room is taken. But if I thought it would work, I'd offer it. <laughs> but I, I very much doubt it would work because I don't think you'd do well in the fact that we actually have summer here. And you're some sort of... You're basically Mr. Freeze combined with a Viking. <laughs> and I think the fact that we have legitimate summer here might kill you. The flames have gone cold. Oh. I assume you're in one of the southern states then, Staticat, or in one of the... somewhere near the equator. I'm... I'm... That was rude of me to make the assumption that you're in the U.S. I don't know why I did that. Yes, you have 100 plus days there. We have a season of that. Opponent claimed zone A. 
Well, it's probably about half a season of that. More so with global warming. Like, when I first came up to Colorado, we had usually, like... I'd be generous and say max two weeks of over 100 days in the summer. I have now been here for almost 10 years, and the number of 100 plus days has been very steadily increasing. I, I just like to make sure Static Ad, just because we've got a bunch, frankly, because of the earlier stream times that I usually do, we tend to have a whole lot of uh, Europeans. Which is usually why one of my mods, Alifcat, makes fun of all of us for being Southerners, because he's in the north of the UK. Oh, I thought I saw- Ah, that was a grenade at my feet! Hello, friend. Would you like bullets? I have many bullets. That's two ah, camera! I just accidentally stole a kill and I have no shame! <laughs> hey, dead is dead. Yeah, like, the, the person who was fighting them couldn't quite hit them and they slid past them and I just happened to be punching at the same time in fear. Aha! I got the kill! Yes, you got the kill on the person I was chasing and they wouldn't fucking die. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, yeah, Odinson, that, that, that would have sucked. Oh, God, Staticat's in the, the same weird-ass state as Joey and Gothic. Yeah. You have, you're in Florida, where you have summer, and just sometimes it's humid, and sometimes it's the... Sometimes it's humid, and sometimes it's, like, a wall of water that you have to walk through. I, there's a reason why I don't hang out near the East Coast terribly often, and it's mostly because I, I do not do well with humidity. My grandparents live in Georgia, and, uh, it's real humid there. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, I went to, I, I went to D.C. once and was just like, No. <laughs> no. Also, Doesn't why the that DC is on a swamp? Yeah, I was about to say. Also, why the fuck did we build a fucking city on a swamp? Seriously, compromise. Everyone should have learned this by now. It was the same they... thing with fucking Mexico City. They built it on top of that wasn't a swamp though. It was like a lake. Yeah. But still. Ugh. It's been like fifty-five here. But yeah, I I would probably so it's weird to say that I'd probably hate myself slightly less if I lived somewhere where it was humid, just because I'd be sweating constantly and burning off more of this. But at the same time, I would hate myself just for, for being there. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, you're you're on a peninsula hanging out above uh it, between like wildly different ocean temperatures and are surrounded by swamps and mangroves and shit. Yeah, your humidity is gonna be the worst. Hello, sad dog. I... It's just reminding me why I was so... I, I was laughing with... Oh, yeah, and hurricanes, because... Yep. Fuck you. Um, oh, I'm so glad. My part of Colorado doesn't have any, like, significant natural disasters. Like... We're developed enough that wildfires aren't a significant issue, except in, like, surrounding communities. Um, we're seismically stable, so earthquakes really aren't a thing here. The closest we sometimes get is tornadoes, because, um... The city of Denver looks really weird on a map, because it's sort of like this the city of L.A., wherein there is the city, and then there's a whole bunch of surrounding stuff that set, that is that says that they are part of Denver because it's easier than explaining that they're not. Yeah. Um, but Denver proper is this weird thing where it's like the center bubble. And then it's got this weird little arm that if you look at it on maps, like sticks out to one side and then curves up to the North where it connects to Denver international airport. That airport is weird. One. Yes. That airport is weird, but basically the city went, okay, our last airport we set up, in an area that has now been developed for, uh, 
uh, that's basically like nice. slightly higher income housing. So we can't use that one anymore. And in fact, I think they've turned it into a combination tennis court bowling alley thing. It's weird. Um, what? It, it, it was also a very small airport. It was originally, uh, like it was so built, <sighs> it was built, I believe, before the Second World War. Okay. Uh, because Denver's also a very young, like, even for, for America standards, Denver and Colorado in general are very young. Because Denver yeah. was originally set up as a silver mining community in the very late 1800s. Um, but but they, they basically went, okay, so we need an airport, and we want it to be an international airport. So they, they basically went, we're going to snake this weird arm of Denver oh. City proper out into this open prairie. Because we know eventually we're going to develop out that far, but until then, we want to make sure the Denver, like, city and county proper controls it. Um, and they're starting to develop out towards it, but it's a whole bunch of different other cities are the ones that are doing the development. Right. Um, so they're developing around this stretch of highway and this, like, empty thing of nothing around it. And that area is where we get our one natural disaster, which is occasionally we'll get tornadoes but they usually don't even go towards uh, anything developed except sometimes the airport, and even then, I don't think they've ever actually hit the airport. But yeah, the the Denver area is powerfully strange. Um, but yes, our airport is also extra weird because people always come up with conspiracies about it, and they're currently doing construction where they've leaned into a bunch of the conspiracies by putting, like, all of their, like, excuse our, our construction work signs are about feeding into all the different conspiracies people have about it. Oh also, unironically, there's a giant, weird, awful horse statue that you see... Uh, you see mostly as you're heading into the airport, but you can see part of it as you're leaving, that legitimately did kill its creator, and that... Uh, the, what? The, it fell on the guy who made it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the... Every once in a while... Like, the airport has established we do not give a fuck, but the, the, um, what's it called? The, the city of Denver occasionally tries to get rid of the statue, and uh -huh. the, gu the guy's family just is very against it ever coming down. <laughs> and because the yeah. airport is just like, we don't care, uh, they never pick a side, and it's usually just the guy, the guy's family screaming at the city of Denver. Yeah. It's, it's very weird and silly. But yeah, it's just a giant blue horse uh, with glowing red devil eyes that you can only see at night. Oh! Yeah, that killed its creator by falling on him. It's... My city's fucking weird, okay? But I love it. That's powerfully weird. Yeah. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that the airport now has signs up about, like, ignore access to hidden tunnels full of the lizard people. Because they're doing construction. <laughs> and people are like, yeah, obviously Denver International Airport has, like, tunnels leading to the Lizard People Center. And it, I wish I was fucking kidding. They're all lunatics. I don't understand it. They've, they've also got a bunch of other ones, too, for different conspiracies that people have brought up before. Yeah. It's, it's very stupid. Fine. Damn it. There's two of them on A. If the statue were to come down, it would probably kill again as it has a taste for blood. <laughs> I, I very much doubt it. It just killed the man because it was way too fucking big and no one likes it. It's just that no one... No one likes it, but at the same time, no one cares enough to want to get rid of it. See, but, like, that statue has a story as opposed to San Francisco International, which just has driftwood artwork. I mean, that's just cool. No, it's stupid. No, it doesn't it... even look good. I mean, it's still better than... Uh, so, I've talked about this before, but the place that I'm from is not actually LA. I am from Burbank, which is yeah. a very small town in California, but it is a town of enough import that it has its own airport, mostly by a combination of, one, it's the city that all of the studio execs uh, set up when they... Ba so... I have to go through a bunch of explanations about California here real quick. First of all, <laughs> Hollywood is not a nice place. No one wants to be in Hollywood. There are aspects of Hollywood that now are very nice because people kept moving there, thinking that it was an awesome place to live, and they they tried to make it better. 
the reason why everyone knows about Hollywood is because it was a really Hollywood. shitty, cheap place to rent, uh, and to, to rent aspects of it to do, uh, auditions. So careers got started in Hollywood, but as soon as you got a job on any sort of, like, acting thing, unless it was a, a cheap commercial, usually it was filmed nowhere near Hollywood. It was usually filmed in a studio in Burbank. Because, uh, all of the studios, most of the studios, have their locations in Burbank or just, like, to the side of it, because it's the city that all of the studio execs set up mostly for their, uh, not even for themselves, but mostly for their employees, uh, after the studio system really started to get rolling. Um, but after, uh, usually, uh, that, that was mostly in, like, the 1920s or so, after a while, uh, the city needed to start making more money because they were very, they were very aggressive about being, frankly, uh, shitty old white people before, uh, before quote-unquote the greatest generation rolled around. Um, large aspects of the town, uh, were sold off to Lockheed Martin. You know, the people who develop military aircraft. Um, and who are relatively famous for not following any kind of safety or environmental, uh, instructions. So, most of the ground in Burbank proper has now been poisoned and expected to remain that way for decades to come. Uh, but because of this, the the city also, in around World War II, uh, for a while, got known, became known for Lockheed Martin development. And that meant that we also needed an, a commercial airport, because we had people flying in and out of uh, the place constantly. So... They ended up deciding... I, I don't remember what its original name was, but it's now named the Bob Hope Airport, because I guess they decided to name it after a comedian and then fill the entire airport with uh, with uh, aeronautical development artwork. It's very strange. It's a, it's a weird place to walk through because it's also only used now. It has two terminals, and it's only used by two airlines. It's used by Southwest and United. Both of whom uh, fly a whole bunch of places out of it, but their most common flight, and when I say common, I mean that each terminal has about eight gates, and usually six of them at any given time are used for this flight, are just for flying from Vegas to Burbank and back. Sounds right. It's a 45-minute fucking flight. They do it constantly. That's all the airport does at this point, except for the occasional, like, random flights out to, like, where I'm at and such. Right. It's it's powerfully weird. Yeah, but have you done that drive? It sucks. I have. I, in fact, lost a car on that drive. <laughs> oh my god, really? Yeah, okay, I haven't told this story before. So, my first car was a 1991 Honda Civic. Which is to <laughs> say, as a reminder, that means it was actually built in 1990, which means the fucking thing was three years older than me. Also, hey DJ, how you doing? Um, and... I, I, I got this car for almost nothing. In fact, I got this car for $500 less than I was supposed to get it for because it needed a new catalytic converter. I also found out that the place that was supposed to replace it didn't actually replace it. So that was fun. Oh. Um, uh, but one summer when I was working for the university, in fact, I think it was the last summer I went to university, I decided that I was going to surprise my folks by driving down. I got the car, like, checked over, everything was good, uh, well, as good as it could be for a 1991 car, uh, yeah. that had seen some, some weird, weird living, um, got, got the oil changed, and drove it down, which sounds not that bad until I remind you that one, doesn't have cruise control, and oh, yeah. the first, like, this is a 16-hour a drive, and the first, like, half of it is up, mostly, and occasionally down, mountains. Right. Uh, this was also a car that... I believe it had power steering, but it did not have power windows. It was also a manual. Uh, oh. So, I basically spent the first half of this trip in the rightmost lane, trying desperately to get it to hit 40 while going up a mountain. So that was fun. But then I reached 
uh, probably about Utah, and everything sort of smooths out after Utah. Mm -hmm. Then I started to drive through... Uh, there's like a pop into Arizona briefly, but I think that I'm... Tr uh, I might have my order wrong here. But there's a pop into Arizona and Nevada, and you go by Vegas. So I make it through Vegas, uh, which say I make it through the part of Vegas that's like driving down the strip, or driving yeah. the down the highway past the strip. And then my car makes a weird, awful noise, and I go, that's weird. And then it stops making any noise, and I go, that's weirder. And manage to, like, drift over to the side of the road uh, at about 3 a.m., because my plan was to drive on through. Because oh. I've, I've done this drive many times, uh, but with different cars. So I get the car through, and, uh, at, like, basically... I make it most of the way to the southern side of Vegas and pull over to the side of the road, turn off the car, and then it just won't start. That's always terrifying. Yeah, so call AAA who are like, where the fuck are you? I'm like, I look, I'm at like an intersection of highways, so my information is weird. And they figure it out and send out a truck who looks at it and goes, well... I, hmm, that's weird. I was like, is your is the battery dead? I'm like, nope, the battery's fine. It's just that the car, like, doesn't turn over or anything. So, I... They, they take me to a station nearby... Or to a repair place nearby, and they're obviously closed because it's fucking 3 a.m., and I pass out in my car. Right. Um, they come in, I think, like, half an hour after they were supposed to open, and I'm just like, look, here's the, the case, and they go... Well, that sounds bad. And we we shift it into neutral and they push it into the thing and bring it up and basically go, So, was there oil in your car? And I went, yup, I got an oil change. Like, you can see the sticker. I got an oil change, like, 20 hours ago. And they went, okay, so all of the oil stopped being in your engine. Oh. Um, so you don't have an engine. You have a metal block. <laughs> Oh, you have a single fused so metal block. Um, and I went, well, okay then. <laughs> that's a hell of a way to lose a car. Uh, they paid me, the, technically, they paid me 50 bucks for it because I did not have the title on me and they were like, the, yeah. one, of, one of the guys was just like, I mean, I'll take it as just like a thing to work on because... I, I can get hours of hobby work out of a car that doesn't have an engine that I need to somehow replace the entire fucking engine of. Jesus. So it's like, sure. And they're like, I can give you max $200 if you have the title right now. And I went, I do not have the fucking title. Why? I would not drive around with the fucking title to my car in the car. Yeah. Um, I was like, well, I'll give you 50 and if you can send me the title, then I guess I can give you more later. And I went, I'll see if I can find the title. I don't think I ever sent him the title. <laughs> Um, and I was just like, I, it's fucking yours. And I, I did, I was smart enough to take the license plates at least, but, That's good. uh, then had to call my folks and go like, Hey, so I'm in Vegas and I, I, I think that a brief like click went through my dad's head going like, Oh God, what's he done? Like I was driving <laughs> and then explaining, like I was driving down to surprise you and my car is turned into a single, uh, very large metallic paperweight. And they... <laughs> I felt so bad because they they ended up going like okay we'll we'll find a way to get you on a flight from uh the airport in vegas whose name i always forget uh mccarran to to bob hope because there is always a flight from mccarran to bob hope yeah so but yeah that's how i lost uh i god damn it I'll, all of the cars i've ever lost i've lost on that drive uh the the other one i lost on the way up or on the way back from uh California, and that one was a CRZ, or CRV, no, I have a CRZ now. That was a CRV that I was driving up, uh, with a blizzard behind me. Oh. And, unfortunately, the blizzard behind me is not what got to me. It was, I, I hit a patch of black ice, and oh. the whole fucking thing flipped in the middle of fuck nowhere Utah. That's terrifying. Yeah, you're telling me I had dogs in the car. Oh my god. Yeah, I I still have no idea how, like, the worst thing that happened from that flip 
was that these glasses partially broke. And not even, wow. like, shattered or anything. It was just, like, one of the lenses came out and a leg fell off. Yeah. And thankfully, I had, um, contacts. I, I had a fresh set of contacts nearby. Um, that I was able to find and, like, put in. I have no earthly idea how the hell, like, I did- There was a computer in the seat next to me. I don't know how it didn't hit me in the head and kill me. I, I honestly have no fucking idea. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was that was a bad one. That was a real bad one. And that was like three years ago now. That was like the what? That was the only one that ended positively. Cause um, actually, no, it didn't. Because we found out after the fact that my father came up to drive me the rest of the way there, uh, rest of the way home. After he had, uh, we didn't realize just how sick he was. Oh. So he was definitely not in his right mind through most of that drive. Uh, because this was, uh, my father passed a few years ago of, um, liver cancer. Which, among other things, really fucks with your brain. So, he, he was definitely not all there as he was doing the second half of a drive. Uh, now mercifully after the blizzard had passed, but still, like, traveling in the aftermath of a blizzard. From middle of fuck nowhere Utah to Denver. <laughs> Yeah. And when I say middle of fuck nowhere, I mean that when the tow truck arrived, it took them three hours to get to me. Mm -hmm. And that the nearest place was a town of 200 people uh, that was an hour back. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it had two hotels, one of which would let me stay there with dogs. That's fortunate. Yeah, I, I basically just hid inside that hotel the entire time, because, like, there wasn't even, there was, like, one place to get food, so I just ended up eating hotel food the entire time. Um, also, yeah, so DJ, honestly, I'd say Destiny 2 is really good. There's a reason why we play it a lot. Um, part of that is that now that it's free, pretty much everything from before year two is free, like, all of the expansions that folks who played early had to pay for, uh, as well as some of the stuff from year two, though it's a little bit arbitrary which stuff is. But, like, you can even do oh the first, God. like, four raids that came out uh, for free. <laughs> no! Um, like, this thing we're doing right now is Iron Banner, which is, well, technically part of the current, like, season. You can still take part in Iron Banner uh, without having to pay any money. Um... It's it's honestly a really solid game. Um, the one thing I would say is if you're thinking about getting into like if you play it and decide that you really enjoy it, uh, I would advise not picking up the current expansion Shadowkeep until a season rolls over. Because like right now we are we have I think it's like fifty something days. Yeah, we've got forty eight days and twenty one hours left in this current season. So if you buy Shadowkeep, it comes with whatever the current season is. So to get the most money for it, I would always advise waiting until the current uh, season rolls over because then you won't have to... It's like 10 bucks for a season pass. Um, and it would it, it saves you about 10 bucks basically. Um, and if you don't have the pass, you still get everything on the top track. Uh, it's just that it, the, the, the top free track is very front-loaded. So you get most of the good stuff in, like, the first 30 levels and then it starts to peter off with... I think the at level 60 is basically your last really solid reward, which is just an exotic engram. After that, this is all cosmetics, but it's also cosmetics that you get for free. Uh, we also don't know what the next season is, so... Yeah, they haven't announced it yet. Yep, they usually announce it when there's, like, two-ish two, two -ish weeks left. Right. This contest will shape you um, but pretty much everything from, like, the past... So we're on year three right now. Um, everything from year one and most of the stuff from year two is free. Uh, the only stuff you can't do from year two are, like, uh, the dungeon. Uh, which sounds weird when I say it like that. Think of dungeons in Destiny as more like a practice raid than, in, than a dungeon in another MMO. Uh, in in Destiny parlance, uh, 
what you're thinking, what you would think of as a dungeon is actually a strike. Um, and weirdly, you can't sol so there's a bunch of strikes that are part of the year two stuff that you would have to buy the Forsaken expansion to play. What that actually means is that if you choose to do random strikes, uh, you can't like you can't specifically choose to do stuff from year two, some stuff from year two, but you can get randomly placed into it and the game doesn't care. Uh, so you could still do a bunch of it. It's very odd. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all that you can't do for sure that I remember uh, for year two is that you can't go to, or you can't do the raid or the dungeon from year two or the story missions from year two. So you can't do Forsaken's story campaign, which is part of what they try to use to get you to buy Forsaken because it had a really good story campaign. Because uh, it was all about uh, uh, Cade 6, oh, well, avenging Cade 6. Um, and yes, they, they moved Destiny into a season model. Uh, so it's 10 bucks per season, or you can buy a, a year. I, I got just the year pass when I got um, Shadowkeep. But that's the other thing is that if you buy, because Shadowkeep's the current expansion, if you buy Shadowkeep, you get whatever the current expansion is. Uh, but they also caught a lot of flack in, in year one about making stuff like Iron Banner locked behind having whatever the current expansion was, so they stopped doing that. So you can also do, if there's a seasonal event up, like we just wrapped up the Dawning, which is the the combination Christmas-New Year's thing that Destiny does, all of that is totally free. Um, so if, if you hadn't bought in you could still take part in all the dawning stuff, except there's, like, one person whose cookies you couldn't deliver. Actually, even then, you might have been able to. I don't know if you could deliver Riven's cookies. Or maybe it just wouldn't ask you to deliver Riven's cookies? Maybe. Yeah. Did you... Did did you ever try and deliver cookies to Riven? Uh, no, I didn't get the chance, because I kind of, like, was on my break, you know? Yeah, it was, it was weird, because you... So there's a way to just jump straight to Riven, but then right. you still have to go into the beginning of her fight. Right. Um, where she drop it off and run away. No, there's a there's a, a little like snow globe that you had to give give her cookies to, uh -huh. at, while she was trying to eat you. Ah. So that I actually I don't think she tries to eat you in that part. I think that one's sort of a stay alive thing. So it was just don't don't follow the stay alive part of the the raid. Yeah. And just let yourself die after you've delivered her cookies. It, it was powerfully odd. Yeah, that's what he did. Um, but yeah, yeah, Static Cat, they started doing seasons in year two, but the way that they did seasons was mostly just that they, they made Forsaken at the time a front-loaded cost. Like, it was more expensive than Shadowkeep was when it launched. And they started doing seasons then, but without the season pass track, it was just sort of like, here's the the se the season. It was like the season of the Drifter, the season of Opulence, and the Black Armory, and something else. Um, so now we have the season pass track that gives you like a little bit of stuff as you play through it, and once you max it out, you get stuff every like five levels. Like there, um, yeah. And then they they're still doing the same thing they did with the original seasons, which is about every week some new aspect of the content becomes unlocked. Um, where like right now we have the what is it called? Is yours. The lighthouse? No. Yes, the lighthouse. Am I saying its name wrong? And I'm just forgetting. What thing? The the current uh, event thing. Oh, uh, I think it is the lighthouse. I think it's, okay. So right now we have the lighthouse, which is this sort of like uh, event where you move through a couple of different encounters, uh, earning score, and then you fight a different boss. And the end boss rotated every week uh, for the first part of the season. And now they've come out with uh, the legendary version, which is one that you can't match make that you have to bring like a, a, a team for. Yeah. Shit. Uh, that's much harder. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, fuck you. 
uh, as well as we're getting all this extra information about saints, because we've had, like, six different story missions now uh, throughout this season about, like, uh, first, Osiris telling us that we can't save Saint, there's no way to save Saint because he's been trying for, uh, effectively, uh, hundreds, hu of years. Hu hundreds of thousands of years because he's been sending echoes of himself to try and do it, and every one of them failed and most of them went fucking nuts. Uh, and then we just accidentally into finding, uh, I think it was we found a bit of the perfect paradox and then yeah. started repairing the perfect paradox. And once we had repaired the perfect paradox, uh, we were able to use it to hone in on finding like elements of saints past and, uh, doing things that we actually had already been hinted at in the story that we did, like how we somehow inspired him, despite the fact that he died before our guardian was revived. So we got to go do the story where we inspired him, uh, as well as another one where we found the point where he was supposed to have died, and we made that not happen. Uh, so on, like, the fourth week of the... It wasn't even the fourth week, I think it was in the middle of the third week. Uh, of the season, he came out of the Infinite Forest, and we got more story from him there. Uh, and now, yeah, and now we're, then we got the weird Corridors of Time thing. Uh, that, yeah, that came out last week. Corridors of Time came out at the beginning of last week, and the Destiny Reddit did what it always does, which is go frankly absurd and figure out all of the it was basically like a combination lock, uh, with the, the first, the clues to the first combination were given to the, to, in game, and they figured out that combination, and then when you finished it, that would give you clues to the next combination, they did that for 20 combinations. Yeah. Uh, and then got the absurd 21st combination, which was... 30 fucking characters long, damn it. And we we input that uh, today. Like, that was what we started the stream with. Talking about the patron saint of headbutting. Yup. Yup. Saint 14, the angry Russian uh, uh, exo. Who is most well known for... Well, for many things, but not the least of which being headbutting a, uh, I think it was a Kell of the House of Devils to death and denting his fucking helmet. He is what I aspire to be as my <laughs> titan. <laughs> In every sense of the word. I just, I love that he apparently has unique voice lines if you show up to talk to him wearing his helmet. <laughs> Like, only Titans can get it, but I really appreciate that. Yeah. That he has a unique voice line for a Titan shows up wearing his helmet, complete with the dent in the side. <laughs> also, then there's, like, little things. Like, the, the mission where you inspire Saint, um, he's down there throwing up the, the Word of Dawn ability. Right. And if you walk into the, the Word of Dawn, it has the buff that wearing Saint 14's helmet normally gives your Word of Dawn, uh, called Starless Night. I don't remember what it does, but I remember that it, it has it. Actually, oh, I think okay. I can... I've got his helm on my Titan. I thought I did. Yes, I do. What does it do? Starless Night. Enemies that enter Word of Dawn are blinded, while allies that pass through uh, gain an overshield. Guarding with Sentinel Shield blinds nearby enemies. Cool. Yeah. It's just like little details that they've been doing really well lately. Uh, I can't check destinations from here. Is it called? Oh, it's not the lighthouse. It's the sundial. Yeah, the sundial. But yeah, the... I have given Bungie a lot of crap, but they've honestly been getting really good about storytelling and destiny, and they've they are making me not in any way feel bad for having invested in getting all four seasons at once. 
Um, the good. other the other thing that's tied to the seasons that I feel like I should mention are the ritual weapons. Um, so like the this shotgun, the python, I think is will there there may possibly in the future be a way to get it outside of doing the season stuff, but right now, the only way to get it is by doing this this quest that lasts all season. Same thing with the uh, the heart of the dragon, the Komodo thing. Which I'm less looking forward to because now I need to go play survival. <sighs> yeah, not looking forward to that one. That reminds me, do I want to use the buzzard? Because I spent a lot of time earning that fucking thing. Let's go with that. Da, da, da. <laughs> Sorry, I talked a whole bunch there, and now I'm just like... Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, it's stuff you're passionate about. It is stuff, it's but, but it's, it's more just like, too. I talked a bunch, and now my, my mouth is just like, and now we're done talking. <laughs> and I realized yeah. that I hadn't talked at all. I'm going to use this gingerbread one. I think, no, wait, this isn't actually helpful. Damn it. I want to use my confectionery shell, but it has nothing good for crucible. There are shells that are good for crucible? What? Some, well, so here's the thing. There are some shells that give you extra stuff in crucible, but they're usually only, so I'm using Eris Morn shell right now just because of the whole guiding light. Uh huh. The best crucible shells usually just give you ten percent extra experience in crucible, so they're just strictly worse than guiding light. Right. Um, I think I have one somewhere that has a chance to get like glimmer, but I'm almost maxed out on glimmer again. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I was out for a while, honestly. Really. I, I dropped a lot doing uh bright dust farming. Oh. Uh... Oh, Staticat, welcome to the Discord. I didn't notice that you joined. Sorry, I I normally get notifications whenever anyone puts anything in the Discord, but not when I'm streaming. But thank you, welcome. <laughs> we do most of our uh, 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 Destiny planning in, in DOS Discord. Which reminds me, if you would like to take part in the raids that we're trying to plan for next Tuesday... Uh, we are, we're trying to get people's opinion on which version of the, what, what raid they would like to do. All the raids that we're looking at are free raids. Because we're looking at either doing Prestige Leviathan, which is the, like, heroic version of it. Uh, or Eater of Worlds, which was the second raid introduced, and, like, the first four are free. I think it's the first four. My count might be wrong. It's at least the first four. Might be more. Um, but yeah. Oh, you play on PS4? Yeah, that honks. I'm sorry. I uh, wish they had crossplay instead of just shitty cross save that doesn't work the way I want it to work either. Okay. I can't tell what's hitting me, but okay. Um, I know of a couple other folks who play on PS4, but I don't. Took the lead. It's gonna take me a minute to remember who the hell does that, because I know there's someone. I know there's at least one of them. You captured zone C. Zone advantage is yours. Because I know. Uh, I think they're Milk Dud in. I think their name is Milk Dud in the Discord. Uh, plays on PS4 primarily, but also on PC. But I know that there's a couple others who aren't, like, as serious as he is. Eat buzzard, fucker! What? There was a grenade. Oh, a inside. grenade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it got both of us. I'm trying to remember. Maybe it might have been King? I think it might have been King who mentioned playing on PS4. Yeah, because, uh, because his PC is on the fritz. Actually, no, I think his PC is just straight up down right now. 
That's it? Yeah, I know he was having issues with it. Because that's also why he hasn't been doing any of his uh, Gunpla streams for a while. Because I, I think he said he's got like three Gundam models that he was ready to build, but can't because his computer can't even like handle just running a stream. Ugh, that sucks. Yeah. Good counter. Now hit them again. Have a grenade, friendo! Ha! Makes me a little sad I haven't heard um, Saladin's, my favorite awful Saladin line of uh, the game's not over until Shaq sings and he's a very shy singer or something. I've never heard that. I think he only says it on certain... Either he only says it on certain maps, or he only says it when you're, like, a certain length behind, and we've been staying pretty consistently either real far behind or real close to our opponents. Right. I should not be using the buzzard here. As much as I want to, I don't feel like a sidearm is actually good in the Crucible. Except maybe the breech light. And even then, I think that's only terribly good because it's... So rapid fire. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, you good. You had a knife to the face. Damn it. That was the kill. Oh, okay, good. He died. Yep. That's all the. Oh. I should probably grab and put an Icarus grip on this gun if I'm gonna keep doing weird floaty shit. But I will say, I'm quite proud of our Discord being generally full of just good human beings. Especially now that I've got rid of the section where people put memes because the only memes were terrible Nicolas Cage ones by like one person who hasn't shown up in a while. But then again, I feel like I also got rid of that more than a year ago now. I was about to say, I don't remember hearing about that place at all. Yeah, it's... The problem is that I've now been streaming long enough that I don't remember when things happened. Because I know that I was no longer in university once I started streaming uh, regularly. Mm -hmm. But that means that it could have been anywhere from, like, max four years ago. So, at this point, I'm just fucking lost on when anything happened. Because I think it happened... I started officially streaming... In February of 2016? Uh-huh. But even then, I'm not completely sure anymore. I could probably go back and check some of our earliest VODs, but I don't remember when I started doing the VOD archive. I think I started it during the 365-day streaming challenge, but... I'm not 100% sure. Now you are the wolf. I like hunting. Actually, no, that's a fucking lie, but still. Five minutes remain. What the hell? Arthur. Damn it! Ah. The one downside of using the uh, Steel Damn Feather it. Repeater Return to the fight. is its damage drop-off is pretty fucking early. I should check and see if this one has a masterwork for range or not. Because if it does, I should probably work on that sooner rather than later. Come on, grenade, kill him. Yeah! Oh! That was an enemy. So you killed a salty taco and then assumed that the next thing wasn't an enemy? No, I... Someone jumped over me from the opposite way because I was running back to group up with you guys. Damn it. Oh good, I knock on wood. Have not dropped any more frames since that weird sudden spike. Damn it. Aren't short guns fun? I should probably be using one. Did you see the name of the shotgun? No. Is it shotgun? No, I, I can't see the name of it. I'm just asking which one got killed you specifically. Oh, uh, just a... Uh, 
I don't know, just, we I've been dying a lot to uh, people with, like, Zen sliding. Okay. Just, the. Uh, I'd expect that we might see some of them using uh, Ganora's Axe, but Ganora's Axe is such a weird fucking shotgun to try and use, because it's a slug. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, any shotgun that has, I believe, the precision frame fires slugs instead of spread shot. Mm. So they work like really short range scout mm. rifles with uh, a with hip fire reticles that do not inform you of that. Ah. Actually, I guess short range sniper is probably a better comparison because a headshot is generally lethal. And I think that's why their target acquisition is usually relatively low. Gotcha. Uh, so that they don't get to just sort of cheat. <laughs> Not cheat, but like, slide up and go, ha ha, headshot, fuck you! <laughs> ah, good. The top three all have the same fucking banner. God damn it. Oh, wait, were you against a clan? No, no, I mean, on ours. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're all using the new one from completing the, the time stuff. Um... I don't know about you, but I probably need to switch over to a different character after this one. Uh, uh, just so I can okay. get some more Crucible shit done. Gotcha. I, I only have one character. <laughs> I, I commit hard when I commit to something, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> more than one character is just too much work for me. In my case, I just feel like it makes it easier on the character that I, I most want to play. And as a secondary thing, I it also makes it way easier to farm... What's it called? Uh, Bright Dust. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. I, like, I enjoy the game, but I haven't... I, I'm definitely not a, uh, I have to definitely go in and 100% everything, or, like, try to get everything from a season. I mean, that's also part of why you have too many damn quests right now, isn't it? Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't complete them! I just want to play the game how I want to play it. I know, I know. Also, also, you know for a fact I you get swarmed with like 80 billion quests when you start in New Light now. <laughs> yes, yes you do. <laughs> and each one seems to get replaced with two more. Well, especially because you have Forsaken, don't you? Yeah, I have all three. Yeah, so part of it is also just that you, you're basically being told, hey, would you like missions from, uh, like... Four seasons, one expansion... No, six seasons now. One expansion... Or no. Three expansions and six seasons. Yeah. Complete them now. Complete them however the hell you want. Also, there's a limited quest inventory. Uh, so figure it out. Why? Limited quest inventories makes no sense. <laughs> the, because the quest inventory... I love that... The reason why the quest inventory used to not matter was because a bunch of the quests were actively in the inventory, so your inventory was always full. Yeah. So it's like, ah, hmm, my inventory's not full anymore, instead my quest inventory is- Fuck! Fuck. Son of a fuck. The fire burns brightly in you all. I'm gonna wait patiently to get that fucking Shax singing thing. That does remind me, though, I haven't talked about it as much, but the Devil's Ruin quest has great goddamn dialogue, and I love it. Because it's oh. the stuff of, like, someone just... uh, Saint and Shaq. What? So someone missed their jump. Because mm -hmm. um, the stuff of, like, Saint and Shaq's giving each other shit is really good. Yeah. Now, oh, fuck. Yep, fighting lion to the butt. God damn it. Uh, one day I'll go for the mountaintop. That day is not today, because I don't hate myself quite that much. And because that one's not locked behind a season or anything, it's just locked behind get really good with grenade launchers and crucible. Yeah. 
God damn it. Zone A captured. Good, good. We have an AFK. Great. Opponent claimed zone B. Why aren't they claiming C? Ah, because we keep killing them when they get near C. That's fair. Damn it. God damn it. <laughs> ah, those those weird pointy shoulder blade things from last season's Titan armor. Last man standing. That's. I don't remember what shotgun that is. Huh. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone A lost. Yeah, and just a reminder slash warning for anyone who's uh, new to Destiny: maybe don't jump immediately into Iron Banner when it's up, Zone because remember yeah. that this is the one PvP game mode does, that does not. Uh, Balance light levels. Yeah. So if someone has a higher light level, they will do and take, or they will do more and take less damage uh, if they have a higher light level than you. Uh, it's not a massive difference unless you're at like 750, the starting light. Um, and they're at uh, like. 960 or higher, but it still can suck. So, just a warning. There's a reason why this this event comes up for one week every month, and no more often than that. The lead is yours. That, and because it's a, a week where people can get a bunch of free pinnacle gear, well, not free, but easier to unlock pinnacle gear. You captured zone B. Nope. Oh, shit. Hello, Mr. Sniper. Or Miss Sniper. Damn it. Son of a butt. This is probably going to be my last match. I need to get people lunch here. Okay. I mean, that's fair. I can take a break for a while and then come back with Temtem, -tem, honestly. Because Temtem is out. Here, friend. Stop but you. How far does it go? Do we know yet? I don't believe we know. Okay. Because everyone's only seen like the first. No, game. people have made it to what is considered. Uh, people have made it up to like level forty. Okay. Um. So they've seen some number of. I. I want to say gyms, but they're called dotos. But still, we've seen some no. number of them. But I've gone out of my way to not actually see any of the information. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but there is certain stuff that is not actively in the game so that people can't cheat and figure it out yet. So, like, we don't know what any of the starters' final evolutions are because they just aren't in the game, period. Will they have been released for now, then? Or no? Still not. What do you mean? Like, uh, since the game's out in alpha, is the final form still not in the game? I, it's been out for two hours, I don't know. Well, okay, that's... I guess it, I didn't so, know if they made any announcements about no, what the, the alpha. Well, the, the alpha ended already, this is the beta. I mean, yeah, beta, yeah. I just feel like that's important to mention because they have been running a closed alpha for Kickstarter backers. Right. Uh, but it, it was not included in their patch notes. I... I'm generally of the opinion that they're probably trying to not tell anyone until cl much closer to release. Right. Or, uh, like, act I hate, this is the one thing I hate about early access. Like, real release? Zone advantage is yours. Damn it. Um, but, because there are, there are definitely a bunch of uh, final evolutions and things that just straight up are not in in the game so that they can't even be data mined. Right. Which, honestly, fair play. Yeah. Fucking goddamn shotgun. Pretty sure that one hit me in the fucking legs. Zone C lost. But yeah, I think we'll be calling it after this one. Uh, I will take some amount of break, because uh, we need four hours at least for...
Twitch to send a notification again, which means I don't think I can start until 2 at least. Uh, with Temtem. So, yeah, it'll be at least an hour. You captured zone a. Probably a little bit more just to make up for whenever I started. Oh, good, that still worked. Beautiful. Damn it. My god. I want that Mindbender's ambition, but I have not been doing any ordeals when it comes up. Actually, I don't know if it is an ordeal, but I... Still. I haven't been doing the things. Ooh, right. I should also get lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My stomach just growled, and I was like, oh, right, I haven't done that, have I? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm still running off of, uh, vitamins and a soylent. trying to shoot the people attacking you and I think I accidentally shot you instead. Yeah, it's fine. Capture it. You have the advantage. Press now, if no one dies and they don't capture a zone, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to be the one that dies, I just know it. <laughs> oh yeah, I nope, wasn't. You weren't. Not yeah. good. The person who was AFK for a bunch is the one who died. Haha. -ha. Uh, new subtle calamity? Ooh. I need to go to the postmaster to ch check that out. Ugh. At least it's a good weapon. Yeah. I'm I'm still kind of annoyed that I don't think there's a, there's any sort of alternate role on uh, no turning back. Is that the one of the other bows? No turning back is the uh, kinetic is the the kinetic one that isn't uh, from the black armory. Uh, you get one from doing a story mission in Forsaken, and now it uh, so in theory you can get it from what's it called. Uh, from doing missions for the spider, and now it occasionally shows up from uh, Banshee, but it never for me has had a different role than the basic one, which is uh, high tension string, fiberglass arrow shaft, explosive head, and hip fire. Uh, like, it's never been different, and I, I'm wondering at this point if I'm just going mad or if I'm extremely unlucky. Because right. I think the masterworks might have been different. But, like, hip fire and explosive head are not a good perk combination. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, thank you all so very much. Uh, I don't really have someone to throw to right now. So, I think we're just going to call the stream and we'll be back in about an hour with some Temtem. I might do character creation off screen just to, like, get myself into the game a little bit. Uh, also, I haven't decided on a starter. Don't think I'm gonna be like polling chat for it, but I I have I'm just saying that right now, I haven't decided on a starter yet. But yeah, I will see all of y'all in just a bit. Thank you very much, and we'll we'll see you next time. Special thank yous to Aleph Cat, Trevor101, Stark Maximum, Donovan Bain, and Dracus for supporting this stream on Patreon. Uh thank you as well to uh, I thought there was someone who saw who followed, but apparently my brain does not work today. Uh, but thank you very much to Applesauce and to uh, Lost slash Shaney slash Giant Ramble Muffin. That's not actually what your name is, but I always misread it as that. Uh, for for joining me on this stream today, I couldn't do this without any y'all as well. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see you all very soon with some Temtem. Bye, folks. <laughs>